Two years ago, Rafiqul Islam won a U.S. permanent resident visa through the green card lottery and came to the United States from Bangladesh with little more than the clothing he owned and a dream of a better life in America. Uh, I apply for came America. I want to change my life. If I can change my life, I can support my family. Everything, I will be changed. Everything like that's why I apply. The late Senator Edward Kennedy came up with the idea for a visa lottery system in the 1990s as a way to give opportunity to European and other countries with low immigration quotas. The lottery program, officially known as the Diversity Visa, is relatively small, granting about 50,000 visas compared to the more than one million new green cards issued each year. The lucky winners, like Rafiqul Islam, must pass a background check but need only a high school degree or work experience to qualify. Immigration attorney Rajiv Khanna says the diversity visa has come to symbolize core American values. But United States is blessed and perhaps cursed with that unique vision we have that we are, as a nation, a citizen of the world community. And we have to accommodate certain things in good conscience and good faith uh, rather than just as a matter of self-interest. But under the proposed immigration reform plan being considered by the U.S. Congress, the diversity visa faces elimination. Instead, the plan would expand opportunities for professionals like Bhushan Parekh, who hold advanced degrees in science, technology, engineering, and math. Parekh's H-1B professional visa was sponsored by a major U.S. company. Because I had done the engineering in India, uh, the four-year degree, and I'd also worked in India, um, uh, for a year after that. During the interview process, it was very apparent to them that I had the management skills that they were looking for. Some members of Congress opposed eliminating the diversity visa, saying the U.S. should give some opportunity to the world's poor and disadvantaged. But in these hard economic times, Khanna says fairness is no longer the priority. So diversity by itself is no longer the virtue that we seek in our current immigration system as proposed. What we seek instead is, what can you do for us? Khanna says while U.S. businesses are lobbying for more professional visas, the poor from developing countries have no such powerful sponsors. Brian Patton, VOA News, Washington.